What was your childhood like? Oh, I remember lots of things about my childhood. Um, again, it was simple. We always did things uh, with friends. I remember I uh, always doing yard work. I always had a lot of responsibilities around the house and chores that I had to do. Um, but it, there was never a dull moment. You know, uh, we always had a lot of fun uh, and had a lot of friends in the neighborhood. I remember uh, riding my bike uh, down to the local Tasty Treat. It was called the Tasty uh, Tasty Freeze, and uh, getting ice cream cones, asking if they ever had any mistakes, you know, because they would save their mistakes, and they'd always give you the mistakes if you asked for it. That's when they didn't fill a cone up just right. They'd always keep it. I remember uh, in the summers we would go fishing, um, in the winters, we would go hunting a lot. My sisters hunted, my dad hunted, and we'd always go out to western Kansas, or we'd go to southern Kansas and go quail hunting, pheasant hunting, uh, dove hunting. Uh, remember doing all those things, and it just seems like there, there was always, there was never a weekend that was free. We were always busy doing something, and I remember cleaning fish out in the garage and cleaning birds out in the garage, um, going to the lake a lot. Uh, we had a boat and we just lived, you know, 15 minutes from the lake. Uh, and as I got older, I was the one that ended up going with my friends and taking the boat to the lake when I was 16 years old, clear through, say, 18, and I would go three or four times a week with my friends. And so I was kind of entrusted with the trailer and the boat. And uh, so I had some responsibilities early on. And uh, that progressed into helping me into, actually, job opportunities. What are your most vivid memories of school? I've got a lot of memories of school. Uh, there are a couple of things that stand out. I remember setting up a school one time and using the globes as uh, the globes, you know, the world globes, and I'd use them as basketballs. And I'd, I'd basketball them down, the, down to the rooms, you know. So uh, I remember... That kind of stuff. I also remember because I we had all the the I knew the school inside and out since my dad was the principal, and I knew how to like break into individual rooms with just a comb, and I remember doing that. You know, uh, recess was always a good time. We, one day during recess, during a softball game, I was a right fielder, and I had I didn't catch the ball; it had gotten past me, and I remember. When I finally got a hold of that ball, I threw it as hard as I could towards third base because the, the guy had already passed first, second, was headed toward third. He was like just crossed second when I let go of the ball. Well, just as he was rounding third and passed third, the ball hit him directly in the side and knocked him out. And uh, just as the bell rang, of course, everybody ran back inside and the teacher came out and wondered why he was on the ground. And he ended up having a huge purple bruise in his side. Um, but I remember throwing him out from way out in out, outer field uh, and to get him out, and I didn't mean to hit him. It just happened. Can you tell me about the dumbest thing you ever did in your life? Yeah, one that comes to mind is uh, I, I had a pickup truck when I was in ninth grade, and I had talked these two girls into uh, letting me take them home. Uh, and they lived quite a ways out of town, but uh, they didn't want to, And but I talked them into it, and we got close by their house out in the country, and uh, I got kind of crazy, and they, uh, I got to a stop sign and was going to turn left, and they said, you know, don't peel out, and I said, I'm not going to peel out, but I floored it, my truck, and it peeled out and peeled out and peeled out. Well, when it finally grabbed... It turned my truck sideways and threw the truck off a bridge. And we went off on the off the bridge, and just my back bumper was up on the road, and then my front left tire was on a rock, and we were teetering before we went down into a creek. And we didn't, and they were all jammed up against the door. That was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever did. It, nobody got hurt, but we could have badly gotten hurt, and I could have wrecked my vehicle totally to where it wasn't drivable, but uh, we were able to get it towed out of there and it wasn't hurt too bad, but we could have really been injured.